Today I'm gonna to do a very exciting unboxing. This just arrived less than five minutes ago from FedEx. It wasn't supposed to be here till tomorrow, but I had a feeling it might show up today because I ordered this exactly a year ago. I ordered it in the, actually almost July of 2015. It's almost July of 16. This is how it arrived um, from FedEx parcel post. And we've got an inner package, which I will now look at here this is the way they packaged it there's a swell looking box here um logo on this side this is the star trek bluetooth communicator now this is something that i am going to want to get inside of to see how this thing works i'm going to put on my reading glasses just so i know what i'm dealing with okay so what do we have here uh, i have a slide that out and inside of the cardboard box we have a plastic box which is now wrapped completely in plastic so it's shrink wrapped there's what seems to be a leather pouch or sleeve and a book and the book shows you the ins and outs of how it works here and there's a nice little landscapey mural of some sort here some sort of nice picture showing it as it's put together so let's without further ado i think i have scissors over here let's see what we're dealing with you know what uh, i'm going to move the camera to get a better view And there we have it. There we go. So now we have a better view of what's inside. So now we have the original cardboard box. As I showed here, this was the booklet I mentioned. There's a nice little landscape picture on this here. Showing it. And there's all sorts of technical stuff on the inside. Go. And there's something from the wand company giving you congratulations and telling you a very, very short summary of what to do from the wand company. And the wand company, and here's that wet leather pouch. Got a little embossed logo on there. The wand company is the company that makes magic wands. They originally started out by making a Harry Potter products. So this is what's inside the box. It is a hard box and it has a plastic seal. So we are going to snip that and get into the plastic shrink wrap that's inside of there. And we now have our hard box with a hinge on one side. And let's open that up. And there we have very nicely padded uh, top. This is apparently the charging station. Um, there's a cable of some sort in there and this is made of metal and of course it says the USS Enterprise standard issue communicator on it that's what it says there and now we will look at the next piece in our piece here uh, I have not figured out specifically what this is but from what I could see there's a USB uh, thing of some sort in there I don't know where what goes in there and how and why but uh, we'll see what that is as I unfold and of course this is the hero uh, communicator it has a really nice feel, feel to it. It, it I've had other communicators before and this one has definitely got the best feel of them all it just feels right um, there's metal in there on the side and this is some sort of uh, plastic but it's a, it's a definitely got a great texture to it and of course we've got our flip out on the top and of course that we can flip out it looks like it's actually meant to flip out because it's kind of it, it's it's not as not as easy to grip as you may think uh, there's a nice moiré pattern inside of there i hope it actually does something when i turn it on and of course there's the knobs and as i move this you might see the moiré pattern 
and let's take a look at what this other thing here does. I hope it's got a little bit of a charge so I can kind of pair it up and see how it works. So this is what we're looking at here. And of course, this has, still have not figured out what that is yet. You know, but I'll look at the pictures in a moment. Here's a definitely a USB power adapter and a twisty pull that apart and that clearly fits into this I mean this is, it's what this is now the issue is how does it charge um, I think it's a wireless charge actually because there's no ports on here nicely there's no visible ports so it may be that what this thing does here is go on to this but you know what before I make any more guesses let's take a very quick look in the instructions to see how they've got theirs situated and yes in the picture here you see how that's supposed to go together so this sits at the bottom like that and then it seems like this then goes onto there presumably like so and then I assume oh it wow that is really nice it has a magnetic it just grabs it which is awesome. So just, that's it. That's how you charge it. Just pop it on this wireless magnetic base and there you are. You are good to go on the charge. Now, without further ado, let's see how we might want to pair it up if I have some power. Powering up, powering down. Um, caution, right hand button of the switch is a five-way jog switch. The right hand button of the communicator, it says, is a five-way jog switch. So this one here I guess we have to be very careful with this. No, is it this one? This one it says press only. I'm, reading the, I'm, I'm trying to read this little insert that gives us some information about how this works. Uh, you are one of the first people in the world to own a fully working Star Trek Bluetooth communicator. After two years of development, we are delighted it's finally in your hands and we hope you have lots of fun with it. But remember, this is not a toy. It's a high quality prop replica. Replicant should be handled with care and respect. Only the right hand button of the communicator is a five way jog switch. And of course they're pointing to, oddly, <laughs> oh I see, it's this one here. And it says press only, meanwhile I'm turning it. So there we go. It says press only, please do not attempt to use the left hand button, that is a jog switch. Because it is pushing it up, left, around, may damage the switch permanently. Well, there you go. Uh, and it looks like it's blinking. I wonder if that means it's pairable. Let's see if I can do that with my handy dandy iPhone. In my case, I'm using a iPhone SE. I traded from my 6 Plus. And let's see if I can go onto Bluetooth and see if it's in some sort of pairing mode. It'd be nice if it would be. Let's see, other devices. Don't see anything showing up on, on the other devices yet as I'm in the Bluetooth mode, but that may be subject to pairing. Uh, let's see how to pair it. Uh, assembling pretend grill button functionality using the communication while unpaired. Does not have to be paired uh, if you only want to play with the built-in sounds. Oh, okay. Well, there's a thought. Um, to use the built-in sounds, it, I presume we push buttons. No. Ah, there you go. Enterprise Bridge, Lieutenant Uhura. That's the right button. Enterprise Bridge, Lieutenant Uhura. That's the right button in the middle button. I still don't know how the, this middle button works. This one here. That, that one there. Don't know how that one works. Comes with only two buttons. Left button is a single press button. It's used in its own single clip. And this one here. Enterprise. Spock here. Ah, so up with Spock. And then how about down? Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. So middle is Uhura. Enterprise Bridge, Lieutenant Uhura. And then up was Spock. Enterprise. Spock here. And then down. Yes, Captain. It's just a generic yes, Captain. It sounds like Sulu. Yes, Captain. And you go to the right. McCoy here. Ah, McCoy here. McCoy here. And he's to the right. And then I guess to the left, we may have Scotty. 
Scotty here, Captain. Ah, that's what we get. Scotty here, Captain. So when you want Scotty, you go. Scotty here, Captain. Just like that. And let's see if we can figure out also how to pair it. In order to make home phone calls, must be paired. Uh, of course, you have to find out how to pair it. Pairing. Activate Bluetooth on your phone. Press and hold the right communicate button until the button says waiting for Bluetooth. Waiting for Bluetooth connection. Ooh, all right, we're going to see Bluetooth now. And now we're waiting to show it paired. And there it is, TWC communicator. And now we're, 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 now we're cooking here. Ooh. Connected. Ah. Now it should work as a Bluetooth speaker right off the bat. So if I go into, let's say, uh, the music app. And we go to something kind of cool. Let me do that. Hold on. Typo. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Let's see if it plays. Oh, it's playing something. There we go. It's playing. Now, how do I change the volume? Let's see where the volume is. Right button, left button. Uh, it's definitely playing. Whilst pairing the vo uh, whilst paired, the volume communicator speaker may be adjusted by holding the right button, right button up or down. There you go. I can play things. Just playing from my... Star Trek theme. Very nice. And now... Of course, I should be able to make calls from this. To make a call, no number pad. Maybe only initiated if it's paired with a connected mobile phone. Last number redial function they have. Single click the right button to initiate voice dialing. Hmm. Single click the right button for voice dialing. Voice command. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 2.16 p.m. Very nice. Hey Siri, what time is it? What time is it? The time is 2.16 p.m. Well, it's working that way. So it seems that that triggers Siri, which is nice. Let's see what else we could do with this. Playing music is already working. I think I got this whole thing figured out. <laughs> Very nicely done. So this, again, is the Star Trek Bluetooth communicator. Just came out from the Wand Company. Unboxed, and I'll have probably a more in-depth look at it a little later. Thanks for watching.